Hey there, mama. Welcome to your prenatal yoga class. This is my husband, Jake. And this is um, gonna be a little bit more gentle, a lot on our backs. I am moving into my third trimester. This is a great one to begin to prepare for birth. So prepare your pelvic floor and just start to like open and soften. So come into a comfortable seat and sit up nice and tall. You may need to sit on a bolster or a blanket and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. One more, just like that. Inhale down into your belly, your baby, lengthen through the crown of your head. And then exhale, release out of your mouth, let it go. And then drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Just opening up through the side of your neck. Your eyes can stay closed or soft. Take a big breath in. Exhale, trace your chin to your chest and breathe into the back of your heart. And then just roll it to the opposite side. No big deal which way you started. You're just gonna create a couple circles here. Open up your jaw. So when you're moving into your third trimester, you know, things get tight. <laughs> Belly is getting big. And so, you know, with our first trimester, we kind of might have wanted to do our kegel muscles to um, lock and strengthen our pelvic floor. Now is the time to soften our pelvic floor. Come on back up to center. Inhale. And then exhale. Drop your right ear to right shoulder or opposite shoulder. And then tuck your chin to chest. Stay with your breath here. Just moving in the opposite direction, opening up through your throat chakra. And then when you're done with one more circle, just come on into a comfortable seat and close your eyes. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Maybe you place your hand on your belly and baby and just take a moment for gratitude. Saying, thank you, baby. I love you, baby. And then breathe down into your pelvic floor. And as you lengthen through the crown of your head, imagine kind of opening, expanding through your crown chakra. And it's kind of like this hourglass uh, breath. So you're uh, expanding through your heart, out through your head, and then you're also expanding wide out into your pelvic floor, spreading that. So inhale, breathe into your belly, your lower back, through your heart space and opening up through your crown chakra. So allowing and then opening up down as you exhale through your root chakra. And then also place your hand on your heart, saying with gratitude, thank your body for just being amazing and perfect exactly as you are. Breathe into every cell, take two more breaths. You may even feel your pelvic floor if you're doing the breathwork exercises. Um, as you inhale, lengthen up through the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, breathe down into your pelvic floor and um, just give a, a slight push or pressure, nothing forceful, but you'll kind of start to feel um, your pelvic floor expand your root chakra open, which is what we want as we get closer to giving birth. All right. Gently open up your eyes, bend into your right knee, and then bring your left knee behind you like a mermaid. And then you'll bring your right hand to the side, a left arm sweeps up and over, big breath in. And then exhale, let your left hip lower as you gaze over your left armpit. Take a couple circles here. Open up your uh, shoulder and your chest. Gaze might look down if this is too uncomfortable. Stay with your breath. Nice job. Okay. And then come on up, bring your right hand behind you for a gentle twist. So um, you're not twisting in your lower belly, but finding length first and then opening up your thoracic spine. Gaze over your right shoulder and let it relax. Most importantly, stay with breath. Breath is our life force, our prana. And especially now more than ever, um, breath lets us come back to the present moment. And also when we're giving birth, <laughs> we need our breath to calm ourselves, uh, to create space, to ground ourselves. 
Okay. Beautiful. And then you'll bring your right hand behind you at a 45 degree angle, left hand to the sky, press into both knees, and then gently lift your hips, stretching out through your psoas, maybe round ligament. No need to strain anything. You're probably feeling more flexible than normal. And then come on down. Butterfly pose, bring soles of the feet together. Baddha Konasana. So if this doesn't feel good, you can sit on a bolster as well and maybe move the flesh from your sit bones and just take a couple butterfly pulses, opening up through your hips, okay? If it feels good, you can gently bow forward. Um, if this feels uncomfortable and crunchy in your belly, you don't have to go there. You can also just gently press and massage externally rotating thighs. Just a couple breaths here. So just warming up through your hips. Last breath. All right. Then come on up, bend into your left knee, switching to your mermaid side on this side. Right knee bends, bringing right foot behind you. Left hand reaches down by the ground, right hand reaches up and over. And as much as you stretch through your side body, root down through your lower hip. And then what feels good for your neck? See if you can interweave your breath into your side ribs. And if you'd like, you could always take some back strokes, opening up through chest and shoulder. And you know, with yoga and actually with life, it's all about kind of tuning in to how your body wants to move today or not move and trusting that wisdom of your body to guide you, trusting that inner goddess mama inside you to know exactly what to do without letting our mind and our ego get in the way. Nice. Come on up for your twist. Left hand behind you, right hand crosses over just gently. Root down and then start to lengthen, gazing over your left shoulder. Breathe down into your lower belly. No need to twist crazy like. Ooh, feel baby boy kicking. Okay. And then walk your hand a little further out, right hand to the sky. Press into both knees. Gently lift your hips, maybe take a couple circles. Let it feel good. Nice job. Come on down and we'll meet in cat cow at the top of your mat. Press your hips over to one side and you're just gonna take some big circles with your hips. So just kind of lubricating your root chakra. Knees might go a little bit wider. Take your time though and find your steady breath. And then gently reverse your direction. If a spot feels really tight and sticky, mama, hang out there and breathe into it. So as you prepare for labor and you do your breath work, um, exercises, you know, allow yourself to tune into your body. And if there's a spot that is stuck, instead of like pushing your way through it or trying to ignore it, just pause and make friends with it. Breathe into it. So when I say breathe into it, like if, um, say for example, this area is tight, inhale, kind of create a bubble around that sensation. And then on your exhale, soften all the outer sensations until maybe it dissipates or it just relaxes a little bit. All right, come on into a couple of cat cows together. Tuck your toes nice and easy. Belly softens, lift your sit bones, lift your gaze. And then exhale, like slow motion, tuck your chin, maybe come onto your finger pads, round, and breathe into your upper thoracic spine. Inhale, pull your heart forward and through. Exhale, curl and round. Okay, two more at your own breath and rhythm. And if rolling of your ribs feels um, like it's calling you, you can always do that too. You can also hang out in one of these poses if it feels right. Nice job. All right. Now, if your doctor says it's okay to do open a heart pose, you can walk your hands forward. Knees are a little wider. Belly softens. And either you take a block to your forehead. That might be an option maybe a block to your uh, chest or your ribs or your forehead. And of course, if this doesn't feel good, please come into child's pose. 
Just opening up through your upper thoracic spine. Two breaths. Let gravity do the work. Let your shoulders relax. Armpits open and soften to the ground. One more. Rewide into your ribs. Let it expand like you've got these wings. Beautiful. Slowly walk your hands underneath shoulders. Take your time and find your way to downward facing dog. Just pedal out your dog. Maybe your down dog feels a little wider. You can also bend into your knees, lifting your sit bones. Um, my belly is getting quite big, so this doesn't feel as good anymore. But imagine lifting your sit bones, opening up through your pelvic floor, spreading. So creating that kind of hourglass shape, just allowing hips and pelvic floor to be soft, receptive, and open. Okay, full breath in. Lion's breath out. Stick out your tongue. Really cleanse it out through your throat. Beautiful. And then right leg to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Step it through into your low lunge. Drop your back knee. Arms reach up. Inhale. Nice. You can stay right here or goddess your arms. And then if you'd like, you can also place your hand to your thigh and gently press your hips forward, out and down. Just being gentle, not too much stretch on your round ligament here. Beautiful. And then hands come down. Tuck your back toe under. And then find your way into goddess pose. Spinning to the middle of your mat. Turn your toes in. Or sorry, toes out, heels in. Hands come to your thighs. And just dip one shoulder. Again, not twisting, not cranking. But just gently opening up thoracic spine. Come on back to center. Inhale. And exhale, dip. Breathe. Hmm. Okay. And then full goddess pose. And we'll just take a couple, um, three kind of big squats. So like, kind of like you're picking up baby nice and slow. Inhale, arms reach up. Straighten your legs and open. Exhale, goddess. Bend at your knees. All right. Nice and slow. Inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. A nice job. Skandasana to the back of your mat. Either you take it high, so hips are high, toes point towards the side of your mat, or if it's available, take it low. So opening up through groin, curl your right toes or your front toes towards um, the top of your ceiling. And then breathe. And support yourself however it feels good, right? If something feels like it's ripping, no good, mama. So listen to where your body wants to go. You'll be here for one more breath. Okay. Lunge it to the front. And if you want to take a vinyasa, um, I don't know where you're at in your pregnancy, you can. Or just step it back, knees down for your cat-cow spine. Inhale, open up your heart. And then exhale. We'll meet in down dog, so wherever you want to go with this. And we'll just switch it to the opposite side, left leg to the sky. Inhale. Step it through. Anjaneyasana, drop your back knee. And then take your time, 90 degree angle. Either hands up or hands to your thigh. Your right hand can come to your hip. You can goddess your arms. But watch out for dumping in your lower back. I know our lower backs are probably already achy. So find that lift through your ribs, drawing shoulder blades back. And then maybe a gentle softening. Forward, out, and down. Breathe into your right hip here. Nice. Okay. Hands come down. Lift your back knee. Goddess pose to the other side. Heels in. Beautiful. And then from here, we'll just do a couple cat-cow. So inhale, open up your chest. And then exhale, curl and round. Cross at your arms. Just loosening up your spine. Inhale like a wave. Open. Exhale, cross at your arms. <sighs> One more. To your breath, exhale. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale, goddess. Skandasana to the back, either high, toes point towards the side. Or if you go low, if hips are available, knees are available, then flex through your front ankle and breathe into your inner thighs. So find that ujjayi, gentle ujjayi breath. 
So not necessarily that heated breath, but a nice steady breath, building a little bit of um, sound in the back of your throat. Okay, come forward. One more vinyasa if you'd like, or take your cat-cow variation. What feels good for you? Down dog. Okay. We're just going to come onto your back. So find your way however it feels good for you. And so if you're um, in your third trimester, maybe coming onto your side first and then rolling over. And so come into this bridge pose. So feet are um, underneath your knees. And we're not going to come into bridge unless you want to. But to relieve any back tension, you'll take your thumb hooks and kind of press them into your hip creases. Press them in and down and away. So in, down, and push them away. And you'll feel a little traction in your lower back. See if you can soften through your neck and let your shoulders release away from your ears towards your toes. And you'll just feel this decompression in your lower spine. Breathe into that space. Can you feel that, Jake? Great. Awesome. And then goddess your arms. And we'll take a couple um, bridge rolls. So arch your back, like, you know, sexy back. So arch your back. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Jake's like, what the heck? Yeah, arch your back. And then um, like those boudoir photos that we see. <laughs> And then exhale, curl. So finding that cat-cow spine, you'll tuck your tailbone. It's a really small movement. And then inhale, tilt your sacrum towards the ground, lift your belly button to the sky, arch your back. So this should feel good. It's really gentle. And exhale, pelvic tilts up. Yeah, so it's just this little movement, but you're uh, massaging your sacrum, you're opening. Stay with your breath. We'll do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Now take your feet wide on your mat. Let your knees drop to the right. So not a twist here, but you'll feel a stretch in through your psoas. Gaze up or to the left. And you can stay right here if it's not too intense. Right ankle can cross over your left thigh, drawing your left hip and knee away from your face towards the front of your mat. And breathe here. So again, mama, do what feels good for you. If this doesn't feel good, then you can also place a pillow underneath your knee. But make sure you're breathing into all the space that you're stretching. Okay. Switch. Feet are wide on your mat. Knees stay wide and separate. And then knees drop over to your left. Gaze up or to the right. And just let gravity do the work. Maybe left ankle crosses onto your right thigh, drawing it away from your face. Now full body breath. Inhale, breathe in gratitude, thanking your body, thanking your baby, and thanking yourself. We can be so hard on ourselves, trying to be perfect and push ourselves, especially as mamas. So each breath in, breathe in what you need today, how you want to feel. And then each breath out, just gently release and let go anything that's in the way. Clearing that energy and space to stay open and receptive to stay in your own power and a place of love and joy and gratitude. Okay. Come back to center. Happy baby. Now my belly's kind of in the way, so happy baby doesn't feel so great. So you can either grab a hold of ankles or feet or just grab a hold of the top of your knees. And if you want a little bit more restorative happy baby, you can thread your wrists underneath your calves and just let them kind of dangle. So let the weight of your legs hold your arms there. And if it feels good, you could rock kind of front to back or side to side. But relax your throat. Breathe. Okay. 
and then find your way into a little Shavasana if you'd like, or you can roll over on your side. So mama, if you're um, over you know, 20, 25 weeks, then either roll onto your side or come into a comfortable seat or um, at least have a pillow underneath your, underneath your body. And just take a few breaths here in relaxation. And you can stay right here. Place your hand on your baby again. You have the power, the beauty, the radiance, and the grace to set your attitude for each day, to be present and aware for each moment. Take a full breath in. Release and let go. Exhale. And bring hands together in Anjali Mudra at your third eye. May your thoughts be clear, steady, and present. Hands to your lips. May your words be kind and compassionate. Hands to your heart. May your heart remain open and grateful and know that all of the answers lie within you. Be the change you wish to see. Namaste, Mama.